Hello. So a little instrumental and a 12 string. So you can see a Yamaha 12 string. Uh, sometimes it's tough to uh, tune up. Also, my other stuff is in the uh, wash. So I got this one, maybe uh, Adidas someday, uh, be a sponsor. Cappadocia, got this hat in Cappadocia, um, which is in Asia, in Turkey. And a great visit there. That's the one that has, it's known for uh, colorful air balloons and uh, mounds of, um, we'll just say mounds that go up and people live live in them maybe still and definitely for a long time did um, I'm going to tell the story about Todd Duncan my uh, voice teacher who uh, created the role of Porgy and Porgy and Bess and actually Gershwin had to audition for him in the end it's a really funny story that Todd Duncan told me back in the early 90s um, then I might be singing my thoughts I reserve the potential of just doing that and anyone any musician can take any of these melodies that I come up with unless I say oh that's one I want to develop that one and turn them into a song um, in terms of copyright I'm just doing it off the top of my head And then, um, I have my notes here. I got an inbound drive to survive. I got an inbound drive to survive. I, I can't remember. I got an inbound drive to survive at a certain level of contentment. Back in the 80s, we wrote a rap song, me and my cousin, and, um, and it was called uh, Inborn Drive to Survive. Uh, uh, just a shout out to my um, cousin who is, who was an Air Force, a pilot in the Air Force, and now um, is in the private sector as a pilot. And just a great godly guy. Talked to him last night. Um, it's crystal clear now. Now, it might not be crystal clear later as to what this is, what I'm going to be able to deliver, what I'm going to want to deliver. I, I, I can scratch over here, right? Just not here. And... Um, and then a little Thanksgiving preview from my book. And um, yeah, so there we have it. So what, what's the other one? So there's the 12 strings. So you've got the regular strings I played, my uh, 1938 Gut L5 guitar, Gibson Gut L5 guitar. And um, just want to see how, how the, my beard feels here. Oh, yeah, it, I scratched that itch. Uh, and then you, we got a. I noticed the other day when I started playing the brushes because they're so close to the microphone that this got cut out. <laughs> Never mind. Do that later. Uh, and then my brushes and my pointer. And uh, thinking about singing my thoughts, even if I'm just explaining what I'm going to do. And then I'm the conductor here. I guess I could be a conductor with this. So it's crystal clear right now. Once again, you know how, oh, it was super clear, and then all of a sudden later on it wasn't. But right now, it's crystal clear. As of right now, what I, what this channel is. And right now, it's five to ten minutes, 
every day, so committing to a video every day, like meeting with friends at a cafe, and yes, when I go to the live stream, then those will be longer and more interactive, but once again, I look at all the comments, and then I address things the next day. Love meeting with you guys uh, each day. Music, fun, and then thoughts, concepts, uh, could be current events of the day, but with the eternal serious part um, um, always there uh, to get perspective on, say, the current events or some big concept. Um, with are we in the end of days? Um, understanding revelation um, and as it is in, when I say as it is in, A-S-I-T-I-S-I-N, it's on earth as it is in. So, to me, crystal clear is the foundation is God, giving credit to God through Jesus Christ, um, and, but specifically, end of days. First, uh, investigating, are we, do, are we in the end of days? And doing a, um, looking at the important, uh, keep, yeah, um, <laughs> um, looking at the important uh, characters in the end of days, like Elijah, obviously the second coming of Jesus. Jesus, the, the biggest character. I don't know what you even want to call him a character, but the most important. And the two witnesses. I do, I do not, I'm not an expert on the book of Revelation, but I think there's a chance we're in the end of days. I haven't concluded on that either. So many thousands of years ago, we're in the end of days. So no conclusion. But if I had to, I lean towards we're in that time period. Um, and so, what would I get up for every day to make sure I deliver and meet with my friends and uh, like meeting at a cafe? So, we'd be meeting at, there's a working title, Thoughts for Food Cafe. We'd be meeting at the Thoughts for Food Cafe. And as the, caf, as the chef and the cafe owner... There are people who have their restaurants that are open seven days a week. And, you know, George is an inspiration, too, because he does a, more than one video a day. I think I can do one video a day, five to ten minutes, and develop this. Once again, this is content. I think I always have a hat, although one of the times I will do the big reveal and show my shaved, balding head from up here, thinning up here. And... Um, because I walk around that way. This is just what I've ended up with. These are all my lids. You know, I've shown, and they're not organized, but I got all my lids, which I wore hats and lids and covers before I was losing my hair. And one of the videos on here is called I'm Losing My Hair, so you can go to that. Um, it's one of the first, earliest videos. Um, not of me starting this new content, but from when I put things on every once in a while. I'll have to see what day I started this everyday thing. Um, so, it is, I think it's going to be a focus, and I can see the times coming up, on are we in the end of days? And then do everything with that filter, including this filter. So, this is for everyone in the world. Everyone has to deal with if is information accurate or not, whether they're conscious of it or not. They have to deal with is information accessible or not. What's the context of the information? Is it clear or not? Is it relevant and is it refined? Those double A's and double C's and double R and those six concepts, those are all factors whether people know it or not. And um, I, I'm wrapping it up, so let me just look at your Thanksgiving preview. So I'm just do a preview and then I do plan to do a video on that day. Um, I plan to be in New York City. This is the A Club, which I don't have the royalties yet, um, so don't go out and buy it, but you can go to Google Books and read it. This is page 42, and this is the um, chapter that deals with events calendar. What do Americans celebrate? And it's wrapping up. So no, in November was Veterans Day. Now it's Thanksgiving coming up, and I hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving. Plymouth Plantation, Massachusetts, in the fall of 1621, religious separatists, pilgrims, separating from England because they had the opposite of the First Amendment. They were respecting an establishment of one religion, the Church of England. You guys are awesome, and I'll do more on the time.